obviously you sign a guy that's a gold glove, a gold glover at a uh, gold glove finalist at short. He's a five time silver slugger at short. When you have a guy in Tatis and Kim at short, what do you expect uh, this lineup to look like defensively? My guess would be, and I haven't talked much to the baseball guys, but my guess would be the opening day infield would be, you know, Machado, Bogarts, Kim, and Cronenworth going, you know, left to right would be my guess. Uh, you know, Fernando's not available until later on in April. And then I think you, you, you think about it. I mean, does, you know, we'll see how, how it's unfolding, how those guys are playing, what the health of the team is. A lot of times things crop up and, and make the decision for you. Uh, I could see Tatis going to, to the outfield, left field, you, you know, maybe, maybe right field, maybe move Soto to left. Uh, you know, I, I don't think AJ's done. He's never done, right? So I think they're looking for, you know, kind of that DH, um, you know, maybe outfield piece, another bat, and, and, then, and then probably another starting pitcher. I think once you go this far, uh, you know, they're all in, and, and that's obvious. Mark, what are you, as a – just, just your opinion being inside the organization. How do you handle Tatis? Because I've always felt like he had sort of a fragile ego. Um, and now coming off the, 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 the shoulder, the wrist, the PEDs, you've signed an all-star caliber shortstop. How do you massage his ego? And maybe I'm overstating it. How do you massage him into feeling good about playing the outfield if that's not what he thinks he is? Good question. Yeah, um, that you know that'll be up to, to Bob Melvin and, and staff and, and and AJ and, and everybody really. I think I think Fernando's been humbled by by what's gone on uh, with the injuries and the PED suspension. So I don't think I think he'll approach it from a place of you know I'm ready to do whatever the team needs me to do. I'm just kind of happy to be back. That that's what we're kind of hoping for. Uh, but if it if it goes the other way and and um, he, he, he would demand to be a shortstop or whatever, I, I think then. Who knows? There's 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 a trade. There's trade opportunities potential, uh, but I, we're we're not hoping. I think everybody's hoping that he comes back, you know, humble, hungry, ready to do whatever the team needs. And and I think, you know, Bogarts uh, I've heard is nothing but but top notch. I mean, I talked to Alex Cora. He's he's one of his favorite players he's ever been around. So you, you've got guys like him and Manny, uh, and I think Fernando. I hopefully will you know take from their lead. Those guys are unselfish players and 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 really come together and just, you know, want to win the World Series, which I think everybody does. Based on what you know, do you think that the Padres are in communication with Tatis so that he understands what they're doing and why they're doing it and what it means for him? And this way he doesn't show up and, and you know, there's conflict or issues? I'm sure, yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's I know Fernando's been in San Diego a couple times this offseason. He's, he's in con constant communication with AJ. I think Bob has, has reached out to him several times. I don't know if they're – you know, they're, they're briefing him on, on, Hey, we're thinking about bringing this guy in or what do you think? I, I, I doubt that, but um, you know, he's, he's definitely in the loop. He, he's not like out of sight, out of mind for sure. Um, and I, I'm, I'm anxious to see how, how he reacts and what he looks like in spring training. I think it's going to be really interesting. So you've obviously had the luxury of moving teams, trading, moving teams isn't bad. That means somebody else won't you. When you go into a different locker room, like Xander's going to come into this locker room on a team that, hadn't been this far in a really, really long time. What what do you think his perspective and his his mindset's gonna be coming into this team? Is he a guy just gonna get on the bus and and ride, or you think he's a guy who's gonna come in and try to join the leadership group of this club? My sense is he's gonna come in and and kind of feel it out for a little bit. I think he'll defer to Manny and, and Joe uh, and kind of the leadership group at first. And I think those guys, once they build trust. He's coming in with a sterling reputation. I mean, this guy is, has been the captain of the Red Sox, essentially. Um, you know, he's won a World Series there. Uh, the, the guy is, is, you know, universally revered. So I think he starts with that. I'm sure these guys know him. They know him probably from winter ball. They know him going back. It's, it, it, you know, the, the, the fact that he's, he's got some Latin descent, I think, I think helps him, too, with, with those guys. Um, and he, I, I don't, I think he just comes in seamlessly and is excited and, uh, and does all the right things is my guess. 